This is Rick again, and in this section we're going to be looking into creating an IVR or a call menu. Uh, now with the call menu we have to take a couple little processing steps, so um, we're going to do, it's going to be a little long one, okay? Um, so you guys can see exactly how this works. So the first thing I want to do is, normally with IVRs you want to start from the end to the beginning. In other words, you don't want to start the IVR planning doing it from the beginning to the end because everything goes in section, in section or, you know, it was one, two, three, four. So you can't have one without having two. So you have to, if you have ten steps, you have to start with step number ten and then work your way back. It's just the only way it fits together with you have to, without you having to go back and redo stuff and stuff again. So the main thing is where the, any IVR or call menu lands is an in-group. So let's create some in-groups. All right, so let's go and add a new in group, and we're going to call it test sales. It'll be sales in group. Okay, we're going to give it a color, a green for money. Uh, we're going to have uh, longest wait time, no wet form. We're going to have an inbound script. That'll be the launch, and we're going to submit it. Now let's make sure that this is going to. I set it to 24 hours default call so we can do the test. And I'm going to submit. Okay. All right. So just to make sure this works, I want to go ahead and we're going to do some other stuff in here too. Okay. So let's go ahead and add another in group. Now we're going to call it test service okay so customer service okay so this will be red since we're probably going to be mad all right longest wait time script inbound okay submit all right Alright, so we have created the in groups. We're going to make sure that the test agent is in there. So let's go back and make sure that the test agent is in there. And sales test agent is in there. It's assigned. Okay. We have the in groups assigned. And so let me load up some music now. If you saw the music on the whole creation, then you know a little bit about the audio store. The audio store is where we upload the file so as you can see here we have the audio file upload and let's go to browse and I'm going to upload my greeting submit we're going to upload sales recording and a service recording okay so now we have added our files and let's do this okay so once we have uploaded the files, uh, we're going to come back in and now, and we're going to go into our inbound, and we're going to create a call menu. So we go to show call menus, add a new call menu, and we're going to call it test call menu. Oops, and I'm going to follow my instructions, test call menu. Alright, so it'll be test Right. Okay, so once we have inputted all the information, uh, we have the test call menu ID and the menu prompt. Now, this is the menu prompt is going to be the first thing that the customer listens. So when the phone rings, this is the message that's going to play. So all your menu options will normally be in this file. So we go to the audio chooser and we're going to do the greeting. Now the greeting will tell us, hey, thank you for calling, and it press 1 for sales and press 2 for service. Okay, so if you have the menu to want to time up after a certain length of seconds, you can set it here. Um, you can set another audio chooser, let's say, hey, uh, please choose something or, or we're going to hang up. Okay, you can put that there. If it's an invalid prompt, maybe the, the, you put only options 1 and 2 and they press a 4, then you can tell them invalid number or cannot read the or whatever in whatever invalid prompt you want to load into. Uh, here's where we said how many times you want the menu to repeat. So we'll set one. And we're gonna make sure it's open 24 hours. Now this is for the real-time tracking. Um, if you want to track when the calls are coming in, uh, and even in the IVR it'll show you. So this is good to see. 
and we're going to leave everything else. So now, again, we said that this will send number one to sales, and if you press number two, it'll send you the service. So we're going to go here, and we're going to make sure we put option one, and the route is going to be to our in-group, because if they press one, I want it to route to a sales agent. So and then we're going to put sales queue as a description. Uh, let's see, the in-group is test sales in-group, that's correct. You see we have service and the callback, so we want to send it here. Uh, and that's pretty much it on this. Okay, so now we come to option two. And option two is service queue. So we're going to route to the in-group. Now you can route this to an in-group, to a phone extension, to a voicemail or we can send it to another center. Let's say if you had an option three that you wanted to have service, some kind of specialty service, but it's not actually offered in your facility. It might be offered in another facility. You can send it to an extension and just put the number, their inbound number, and it'll send it to their queue. So for this one, it's going to be service. Okay. And let's add a little loop back that if they time out, then they're going to a call menu, but since we haven't created the menu, let's submit it. Okay, so we created it, and let's. When you want to do a loopback, you got to make sure you submit the, the the menu first before it shows up. So now in the call menu, now you'll see that our test call menu, the one we created, is there. So if they don't choose something within, let's just set this to 15 seconds, and what's going to happen? It's going to loop back right back into here and it's going to go back and over and over and over again until they finally make a decision or a correct decision so we submit okay so now we have created the menu so now now we need to attach the menu to what number it's going to go into so the DID let's go into our test DID and now instead of the DID route going into an in-group uh, we're actually going to have it go into a call menu Okay, so when we come here, we're going to go call menu, and we want this test call menu to show up. So once we hit submit, now any time that this number rings, we should hear the call menu. So Okay, so let's see how this works. Alright, so as we're looking here, we see that the campaign is in there and um, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear the IVR but I'll go ahead and guide it and we should be able to see if I press a 1 my sales in group come up if I press number 2 then my service in group should come up so let's go ahead and click another line and go ahead and press the number okay message is reading his plan so we hit the number 1 for sales and here in 210 boom See, now the IVR went to a greeting, I press the number one, and it automatically sent me to sales, so let me hang this call up. Okay, and let me call it again, and this time we're going to go to the greeting and press the number two. Alright, greeting. Alright, number two. So as soon as it refreshes, we should see a... Ta da Alright, so now... As you see, live call waiting in our queue for a customer service because our customer, our test customer, decided he needed to talk to the service department.